Hey guys, welcome back to the Plants vs Zombies Ultimate Guide. We're still going through the multiplayer game types. So, we have done Garden Ops, which is the horde mode with four players. Then you've got multiplayer. The welcome mat's been explained. Team Vanquish is done. Gardens and Graveyard's been done as well. Classic Team Vanquish and Classic Gardens and Graveyards. I said before in a previous episode, basically they're the same as the others, except you cannot use customization or special characters. Only the standard teams are allowed. So, uh, mixed mode I'm going to skip, because that is a fairly obvious thing that we can do with that. Gnome Bomb there. Uh, and Vanquish confirmed left to go in. So, mix mode basically is just all the different all the different modes just thrown together. You, so if you don't know what you want to play, then you can literally just go blah, and just throw it in. It's maximum player 16, and then uh, you pretty much just uh, enjoy yourself really as it cycles around through different things. So we're going to go for Gnome Bomb now is the next one up. So uh, this is the penultimate game mode, and then the one after that is obviously the Vanquish confirmed mode, which is a new one, came with uh, the update uh, this month I believe the update? No, last month. I don't know, very recently. So we're in the garden centre again for no bomb. Now with all these game modes the maps are the same, they're all the same size and everything. The uh, one thing is gardens and graveyards basically is just a slightly larger, it will expand the maps out as you play. Um, now with Gnome Bomb, you don't really need to go very far with these maps, so even with the Garden Center being quite big, we, we don't really need to travel outside of certain boundaries. The objective for Gnome Bomb is that there is a Gnome Bomb, obviously, um, which uh, both teams have three control points, which the other team must pick up the Gnome Bomb, take it to the control point, and then defend it until it blows up, basically. Some of these matches can be very, very quick, uh, some of them can be very, very slow. Depends on how many players you have. If you've got less players, obviously it makes it take a lot longer. With a lot of players in here, um, it can be kind of interesting to see as to how it goes. I just going to go for the foot soldier this time. So, <clears throat> plants have the gnome. So you can see the objective here. The, the green things are the plants, uh, gardens, and the purple ones are the zombies. Now we appear to have lost one already. I've joined a game in progress, but that's okay. I can uh, maybe try and pull it back a little bit. I'll see as to how it goes. Here he comes. Now whilst you're holding the gnome, uh, you can't really move that fast and you can't shoot or anything like that, so... Grab it, grab it, grab it! Go, zombie! So because you're forced into a smaller area with the uh, gnome bomb, basically um, you pretty much just... It's a lot quicker. It, it's a lot more intense because uh, there's there's kind of nowhere to run. You kind of stick in a small area, so every player is there. Um, wow, no one was defending that, really. Oh no, it's down there. Okay, fine. Now here's another little tip for you. If nobody is trying to disarm the bomb by the time it ooh, if nobody's trying to disarm the bomb by the time it hits 10 seconds, then you do not have enough time to disarm it. So if you get to a point and uh, your bomb is on like nine seconds, there is absolutely no point in trying to start to disarm it because the literal timer to disarm it is 10 seconds. So uh, it becomes basically impossible to do. So there you go. There's a tip for known bomb. Now again, uh, the only mode that's worth reviving people in is Team Vanquish. Uh, maybe Vanquish confirmed, I haven't actually played that yet, so I will be doing that to kind of do a bit of research for the upcoming episode. Uh, but uh, basically that's the only one that's really worth reviving people in. Unless they're standing in a very critical point, or you think it's useful to revive them, they may be a very good player, or something like that, then uh, it's not worth worrying about. It doesn't really affect the game at all, it just means that there are more people running around, really. They can just respawn almost immediately anyway, so... Right, let's pull this back.
also knows Gnome Bomb is one of the few modes that doesn't have any plant pot summons or zombie summons. So it is literally just players fighting each other. There's no uh, defences to be built or anything like that. So. Okay, so we're coming to the end of the match now. Uh, basically, I get the feeling we're going to lose on this one. Now, sometimes, like I say, matches will last a lot less time than this. Um, this one has uh, been fairly evenly matched, really, apart from the fact that they've blown up two of our gardens. But, uh, ooh. Now, if that gnome is on there by the time it runs out... Ah, well... So there you go. Uh, we lost that one as well. Ah, uh, it's fine. Every single game that I play on this, I'm losing. So there you go. There's five and a half thousand. Now imagine if that was a slightly quicker game. Um, it'd be pretty cool, to be fair. And the other thing that I haven't mentioned so far is the fact that if in this screen, if you go to cool stats, you can see all the badges that you've got there, plus uh, accomplishments, teamwork, all that sort of stuff as well. Now, in certain modes like Team Vanquish, you can also see as to how many coins you've earned per minute too. So. So there you are, that's known Bomb, the uh, objective there to get the bomb to the point, blow it up, do it three times, and there you go, you win. So that's this episode of Plants vs Zombies The Ultimate Guide, so uh, come back tomorrow for some more. We're going to be checking out the new game mode, Confirmed Vanquish, so I'm going to have to do a little bit of research, give that a go, and then I'll get back to you guys, let you know what's going on. Thanks for watching, give a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video, and also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more every single day. Bye!